Bagamba, and they say, Omushaja, the man Kafumangamo has never got out. He has never hidden himself. Why? He's the Agumazuma. That is the truth. All the media houses, the different presenters, case, case, Simon, Simon. Most people think that he is lying. But those are the people who stand up and tell the truth. Many people tell cases. Oh, many people cry because of this. And I saw him and I told him, you will not make me cry. And he has never come before me in the wrong way. Simon, Simon. Pastor Jim. Pastor Jim. He always tries to tell them the truth. All the media houses. May God bless you. Even the others who are many. And when you see the book, the people tell them, I pray for them. And may God bless you. And may God bless you. So, I thank all of you. Uganda, Uganda. Uganda as large. Every Ugandan and behalf of us like us. Thank you. Stand with us. Thank you so much. And thank you. There is nothing that I can reward to you. But I was given a small gift. Most people doubt it. But that is my gift. I have no money to give to each and every person. I have no money to give the media houses. But I have something small. God gave me the power onto my tongue. That when I tell you, come up, folks. May God bless you. That is so which becomes. Unbelievers and believers. But as you stand with us, I don't know the God you worship. But the God I worship, I pray that may He surround you with victory with understanding in all our people you will take in you the spirit of understanding which is the source of everything in Jesus mighty name of our Lord now he is standing speaking as a pastor as a pastor who remained behind in the church which was begun by the late our father and I continue thanking everyone with the men of God who has anointed the pastors thank you so much to stand with me pastor Mwonge may God bless you That man, whatever happens here, he doesn't call. He comes by himself with the entire team. With the pastors, children from this house, may God be bound in this room. I was speaking to Kays. I told him that this day I am not so happy as I would have been. And I am not happy. Because I put it onto me. And I say that I want such a day to come when we have achieved or done something. The truth this year me and my team we haven't done anything according to our preparations we have not yet done anything there is nothing that can make us stand up and we say father as we left this is what we've done in your ministry 
This year has been so hard. It has been so hard to Ugandans. They got in one song. Economy. Economy. Poverty. Lack of money. Lack of jobs. Nothing. And even us, as we people were left to take this work ahead, we started adopting that song. Challenges, many challenges which has been in this year that has not enabled us to do something. We had the preparation with the committee. And we say that this year, this year, we want to reach on to this day. At least, when we are done with most things, but we have reached on to it. Nothing new. People who were here last year, look around. Nothing new. Yes, so I am the reason why I'm saying I am not happy. Yes, so I am the reason why they were giving me the power to say nothing. I'm going to speak. Because of the situation which has been in this year. But it doesn't mean that we are not going to do it. Roma was not built in one day. But it is all unto us to sit and continue praying. This for the coming year. The time you come back, here, people who are not believers of this place. The time you come back, here, we shall not need to tell you that we've done this and this and that. But you also say, truly. I am not working alone. God gave me a good team when I work with. So that you also will see what we are doing. And continue praying for us. Continue praying for us. Continue standing with us. To the followers. Let's continue standing firm. Let's continue standing to Let's do the work of God. Let's continue standing and do the work of God. To the believers, you know our preparations. Our preparations. That route you're using coming here, we don't have parking. But God gave us the grace. Our father, there is a land, a piece of land which he did not live down there. But because we working together in faith, we achieved that land. And our preparations, we want that when you come, you don't use the other route. When you come, you be passing the other side where the gate is. It will enter the church. That is what we are praying for God to do. And then to put organize this building very well. The other project. We sat with the engineers. We need four billion. Ugandan currents. We are not so rich, but we have a rich God. We have that God we believe in. God is good. As a pastor, I thank my believers or followers, those who are here. And I want to thank the CEO of ABS TV. And I want to thank the employees. With those who went. And as a CEO of MS TV, and I want to thank all the other media houses to stand with me. And I pray again that may God bless you. I pray that may God continue using you and give you the spirit of wisdom. That is all what I have to say. I have no much to say.
I don't know what to speak about my father. What I knew about him. Well, is strong enough. Because I am not strong enough to stand and speak. I may speak. And then I will start long tears. So please allow me. The little or few things I knew about my father, let them remain in my heart. May God bless you. May God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, you as you wait. Praise King Jesus. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you, Pastor, for that word. At this very juncture. There are items that we want to do. We have an item of taking there the flower. And we have an item. The ABS team to come and say a word. And we have even the item you came with the Thanksgiving offering. You have to get an envelope, don't put me a place. And you're going to place it on Suba Jengo Wari. Where Pastor Jengo is sitting. Then, we are going to wind up with prayers, which is prophetic, which are prophetic King to William is going to give to us. Amen. Amen. Yes, you have a Yes, you have a so, I want to call upon the ABS team.